And from Brown County battling a rare form of lymphoma. Now, he got the cancer diagnosis just weeks before his 20th birthday. WLWT News 5's Daisy Kershaw sat down with him tonight. Hi there. Hi there, Mike and Sheree. Well, you know, were it not for a baseball accident, Carter Scheidler says doctors may not have caught his cancer in time. He was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier this month. It's of course been a shock, but he's got lots of support around him, including from a few of his heroes. I had dove for a ball and I landed on my rib and I was in some pretty bad pain. And so I went to the ER. Carter Scheidler was just a few weeks away from his 20th birthday when he got this shocking diagnosis. After we had done the follow up test, they had come back and said that it was cancer. Doctors found a mass in Carter's chest. He had stage four non Hodgkin's lymphoma. He was the pitcher of health. He plays baseball. I mean, up until that day, you know, he'd play baseball almost every day. These days, life looks a little different. Every three weeks I go in uh, for five days for uh, my chemo treatment. But between treatments, Carter still finds the strength to do what he loves. Baseball just makes him happy in general. The only thing he asked for in the hospital was a TV. That's all he wanted was to watch the Reds. And while this lifelong fan was rooting for the Reds, it turns out they were rooting for him too. Carter, his phone rang and he's like, Pete Rose is calling. He's like, no way. How do you get Pete Rose to call me? He was talking to me about how, how uh, I can get through it and all the, my family and I have a great supporting cast and how everybody's praying for me. From a phone call with a baseball legend, to a house visit this week from former Red Star J.J. Hoover. J.J. Hoover actually bought a pack of cards for me. Carter has a team of people to step up to bat for him when he needs it most. He actually signed a baseball for me too as well. He was one of my favorite pitchers uh, that they had in the bullpen uh, growing up. Well, one of Carter's biggest dreams is to be able to stand on the field at Great American Ballpark to see the view that the Reds see when they're out there during a game. Daisy Kershaw, WLWT News.